This is definitely one of the better Yeezy 500 colorways we've seen so far, and you might be salty if you miss out on a pair. What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning into the Sneaker News YouTube channel. Today we have a brand new sneaker unboxing here for you. Uh, before we do that though, do us a quick favor, hit that subscribe button. You know, we're uploading videos almost on a daily basis. We're showing you rare pairs, upcoming releases, special promo packages, and pretty much anything else that comes into our office. So, have you done that? Great. Today, we are unboxing another pair of Yeezys. This is a pair of the 500 in the salt colorway. Let's go. So this is the Adidas Yeezy 500 in the upcoming SALT colorway. These are projected to release in November 2018 with a retail price of 200 bucks. As you guys know, this is the fourth overall colorway of the 500. The first, as you know, is the Supermoon Yellow that dropped as part of that overly expensive bundle on the Yeezy Supply Store. And then they dropped the Blush colorway, which currently is reselling for the most compared to the other 500 colorways. Then the Super Moon Yellows dropped as somewhat of a GR release. And then of course, the most recently, there was the Core Black. So again, only four colorways of the 500 so far. And very clearly you can see that uh, Kanye West does love that neutral monotone look with this particular shoe. And it does work pretty well. So again, in this video, we're just gonna give you the best detailed look at this upcoming salt colorway. And of course, talk about resale prices and what to expect from Adidas Yeezy as we head into 2019. So again, salt refers to just this off-white grayish sort of tone, and it is a tonal treatment from the tongue all the way down to the sole. Here on the upper, you have pretty much the same as the previous three releases. You have that nice buttery suede toe box. You have a mix of meshes and leathers on the upper. Of course, the contrasting little ovals right here with that suede. Uh, you have that rubberized sort of mud guard that wraps all around the shoe. As you can see, you can tell that this material stretches all the way here just for protection, of course. And on the medial side, you see more of that soft leather material. The quality on these are actually very, very good if you've never seen a pair of 500s in person. We have this chunky outsole, which in case you didn't know, is originally from the Adidas KB3. That's an old school Kobe Bryant signature shoe, and they've decided to repurpose that on the 500 miles. So this is not a Kanye West design. They borrowed this from the archives. The upper is, of course, entirely new. If you've never worn a pair of 500s, they're extremely comfortable. You will not find any boost cushioning, but it does use Addy Preen cushioning, which in our opinion is very, very comfortable as well. You know, you're not really gonna kill your feet wearing these or pretty much any sneaker out there, but overall a solid shoe. It is probably the most affordable Yeezy shoe outside of the power phase. Again, this is the fourth overall colorway and the official color is salt slash salt slash salt. And you might be wondering, well, salt is kind of white, but when you think of salt mines, you think of like, you know, out in nature and it does kind of have this stone sort of gray sort of tone to it. So that's probably what it's referring to. And, you know, as we mentioned before, Kanye West just loves these neutral monotone looks, which actually lend well to this particular model because there's so much going on with the shoe that if you get crazy with the color blocking, it might look a little bit too much. Our take is that, you know, this is a great colorway on the 500 model. It's dropping in November and it really depends on just how limited these will be, but if they're anything like the Core Blacks or the Super Moon Yellows, these might be readily available. I mean, they're probably gonna sell out on the day they drop. You know, it's not gonna be gone in 60 seconds, kind of like other limited Yeezy drops. But again, Kanye West is probably not looking to keep things limited anymore. He wants to have Yeezys as widespread as possible. So again, like we said, if these are anything like the Super Moon Yellows or the Core Blacks, they should be a pretty easy cop. So in terms of resale, you probably are not spending that much above the retail price, which is 200 bucks. I mean, right now you could find Core Blacks for around 300, and that number is probably going up but Super Moon Yellows are still in the 250 to 300 range, depending on your size. Of course, Yeezys are reselling for a lot more if they're smaller sizes, because women seem to be really, really attracted to this shoe, which we understand it's a great looking shoe. And in terms of the fit, stay true to size. You know, these are a solid, comfortable shoe. It does have a bulky look to it, but you know, it's not really reflective of just the fit of the shoe. It pretty much fits like a classic running shoe. So stay true to size. And again, like we said, it's a fourth overall colorway. It's 200 bucks and it's releasing in November. All that release date info will be updated in the links below. So check back often and 
you know, let us know if this is the best colorway or the worst colorway of the Yeezy 500 you've seen so far. Our personal take, it's definitely top two. We would say the blush is number one and this is number two, but you know what? They're so similar that it's kind of really hard to have like a firm opinion about which one you like and you don't like. But again, Yeezy 500s, 200 bucks, dropping in November. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos of upcoming pairs, rare pairs, special promo packages that we get in the office. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.